Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. This is the second part of a SIFT exam, Selection Instrument for Flight Training Army exam to keep moving up. You're not allowed to take this test as many times as you want, so preparation is crucial. What I recommend that you do is have a notebook in front of you, do the problems before I do them, uh, and then watch how I do them. Always kind of jotting stuff down on paper. I'm going to go over a few tips and tricks. You might learn a few things on the way I solve the problems a little more quickly. Really, you don't need a calculator for any of these types of exams. You just need to know the math behind them. The more practice, the better you'll do. You can also go to this web page right here, an ASVAB tutoring um, app that you could download on your phone to get more practice. All right, if you haven't watched the first 10 problems, I'll put a link in the description right here. And then maybe watch those 10, and then these are the next 10. So let's go ahead and get started. Number 11, if 0 .05, 0 0.05 is divided by x, and it's equal to 1, then what is x equal to? Well, I could just cross multiply and see that x is equal to 0 0.05. That easy right there. Number 12. If 3x squared equals 8x squared minus 125, what's the value of x? It means I have to get all my x's by themselves. So I'm going to subtract 3x squared from both sides. I'm also going to add 125 to both sides. So if I do, I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to both sides of the equation. So this is going to give me 125 over here. 3x squared minus 3x squared, those are going to cancel. 8x squared, I have 8 of these things minus 3 of these things, will give me 5x squared. Still isolating the variable x, I divide both sides by 5. 125 divided by 5 is 25. 25 is equal to x squared. Take square root of both sides, and x is equal to plus or minus 5. Um, and there's my best answer right there, answer B. Okay, number 13, solve for y in the following inequality. And then I have this. There's a key to inequalities, and that's probably what this is testing to see if you know that key. That key is when you multiply or divide by a negative, you got to reverse the inequality. Okay, so I have negative 3y is greater than or equal to 21 plus 6, 27. I'm going to divide both sides by that negative 3, giving me y by itself. Because I'm dividing by that negative, this greater than now becomes less than or equal to. 27 divided by negative 3 is negative 9, giving me this answer C right here. 14, given the functions f of x equals that, d of x equals that, it's just saying set that equation equal to that equation. So that equation is 2x plus 7. That equation is 6x minus 9. And now all I need to do is solve for x. I'm going to get all the x's on one side. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. I'm going to add 9 to both sides. That's going to give me a 16 on the left. Right, 7 and the 9, my x's cancel. 6x minus 2x is 4x. And my 9's cancel, divide both sides by 4. And I could see x is equal to 4. Answer C right there. Number 16, what is the midpoint of the segment between this coordinate and this coordinate? Well, the midpoint formula is just the average of the x value, so you're going to take 2 plus 8 and then divide that by 2, and then the average of the y value, so 3 plus 9, and divide that by 2. 2 plus 8 is 10, divided by 2 is 5. 3 and 9 is 12, divided by 2 is 6, so that gives us a coordinate 5, 6 right there. The new car is on sale for 20% off the original $30,000 price. The dealer gives an additional 25 discount on the sale price. So first thing we gotta do is figure that 20% off of 30,000. Well, two times three is six. So it's gonna be 6,000 off, right? 20% of 30 is 6,000. So I have 24,000. And then from 24,000, then I remove an additional 25%. Well, half of 24 is 12, half of that is six. So I'm gonna lose another six thousand dollars on that twenty five thousand dollar discount 24 minus 6 is 18 and that's going to be the final sale price of the car eighteen thousand dollars frank bought 66 shirts that must be a typo it must be six shirts and spent an average of 42 dollars so i'm going to take that 42 times six 
242 uh, So he spent a total of $252. Three of the shirts cost 50 45 and 43 What is the average price of the remaining three shirts? So this is going to be 8 and 8 and 13 So he spent 138 on three of them. He spent a total of 252 on them. I'm going to subtract that 138 from there. Uh, 12 minus 8 is 4. 1. So he spent 114 on the remaining three of them. 114 divided by 3. 3 goes into 11 three times to give me 9. Bring down the 4, 24, 38. So the average price per shirt is $38 a shirt. Answer A right there. Okay, number 19 in the square PQRS. PS is 2. I was like transferring the information there. X and Y are midpoints. So these things are all congruent. What is the perimeter of the polygon? So I want to know the perimeter of this polygon here. Well, if that's 2, that's 2. This is a midpoint. So this is 1. And this is 1. And then this is an isosceles right triangle. So I have that this is 1, this is 1, and then I have 1 squared plus 1 squared is 2. Square root of that gives me root 2. So the total perimeter of that shape is 2, 4, 5, 6, plus that root 2. 6 plus root 2, there's my answer, answer B right there. Number 20, what's the area of the shape? Well, I've got to kind of figure out the other lengths given what we have. That's 12, 4, this right here. 4 and 5 is 9. 9 from 12 is 3. So this rectangle here is 3 by 5, 15. This rectangle right here is 4 by 12, 48. And then this rectangle right here is 3 by that same 12, or 36. And then we're going to add those all together. 48, 15, and the 36. Uh, 14, 19, carry the 1, 5, 6, 9, 99. And the units are meters. And because we're doing meters times meters, it's square meters. And there's answer A right there. Okay, again, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. Um, there's a great app available, both for um, Apple and Droid. It's also specific to the SIFT exam. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. I hope this is helping. The more you review, the better you're going to get at this, the further you're going to go once you place well on these math exams. All right, thank you for watching.